Hi everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday, November 29th, 2020. I hope you guys all had a great week and I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and staying safe. I have lots of things to talk about today, so let's jump right in and get started. So I placed an order on Premiere a few weeks ago because they had this great sale and for some reason I couldn't say no to this sale, so I placed a small order and I did not spend much. I think it was less than $30 for everything. But they had their Premiere Serenity Chunky on sale, a bag of three for $5. That is a good deal. So I bought four different colorways and this is the first one that I bought and it is called Meadow. So there's like the turquoise, the blues, the greens, the lime greens in there. And I love this yarn. Um, I don't really like chunky yarn, but Premier Serenity Chunky is one of my favorites to work with. In my opinion, it's just really soft and it washes up really nicely. So I bought a three pack of that and again, it was $5. And then I bought it in this colorway, which has like the turquoise, uh, dark navy, purple, and like a royal blue color. And this one is called Treasure. So I bought a pack of three. And then I bought it in this color, which is called Berry Burst. Really beautiful color. And again, I love this yarn. And then I bought one more, and I know this is called Majesty because I have worked with it before. And this is like the purples with the grays. So I really like this yarn a lot. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make with these yet. But when you have a pack of three for $5, like I, I just couldn't say no to that. So I just bought uh, four packs of that. And then I noticed that they have um, new yarn on their website. This is the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday DK Stripes. So I bought three different colorways. This is called Blueberry. And this is really soft. And I bought only one skein of this because I'm thinking about making hats. And I just wanted to see what this yarn was about. Um, that's why I only bought one skein and I bought three different colorways. This is a lightweight three. It is 250 yards or 273 meters, 3.5 ounces and 100 grams. And I love this color these color blues in here very beautiful and vibrant and again I think I'm gonna knit up hats with this one and then I bought it in this colorway which is called foliage and my husband really likes the color green and he's been asking me to knit him a hat so I think I'm gonna make him a hat with this one and then I bought this colorway and this one is called ice pop speckle it's a gorgeous yarn. I love the colors in this one and it's only the one skein so I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it yet but I just bought the one skein just to try it out. But for some reason this blueberry colorway feels a lot softer than the other two. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the dye. I'm not sure but the blue one to me feels a lot softer than the other two but they're all pretty soft and I can't wait to um, use that to make something. So that was it for my Premier yarn order. Like I said, it was a really small one just because they had the three packs of the our Serenity Chunky for $5. And to me, that is an excellent deal. So I bought that. And you know what? Honestly, they've been having a lot of great deals lately, but I can't order yarn every single time they have a great deal. Otherwise I'd be broke. But um, that was it for my Premier yarn order. And then I went to Walmart today because um, around this time every year for Thanksgiving, every employee at my work, um, we receive a $25 gift card and for Walmart. So I decided to go to Walmart and buy some yarn. And I've been eyeing this yarn for a while and I have just never picked it up. But I bought four skeins of this Premier Puzzle and I have never worked with Premier Puzzle. I know it's been out for a little while now. I just haven't found a color that caught my eye. So when I was browsing through the yarn section at Walmart, I saw this and I had to get it because I liked it a lot. So I bought four skeins of these. And if you're not familiar with Premier Puzzle, um, it is a chunky, I believe it's a chunky yarn. Yeah, it's a bulky five with 328 yards, 300 meters, seven ounces or 200 grams. And this one, 
is in the colorway crossword so it is 100 acrylic and it's really nice and soft and i'm not sure what i'm gonna make with it i bought it because i wanted to make um either a pocket shawl of my own design or a, a ruana wrap of my own design i haven't decided yet but that's what i bought that for and hopefully um how many yardage did i say 328 yards and i have four skeins of this that should be enough to make either the shawl or the wrap so we'll see what happens but i will be working on that so that was my walmart haul for today and then i received my order from southern skeins now this is the november box this is the sock yarn club for november and i only signed up for the one month just to check it out to see if i would like it or not so if you guys are ready i will open it up and show you what's in here so i already slit the label but i did not peek inside yet so let's see what is in here and i've never ordered from southern skeins before so this is my first time and i have been looking for uh yarn clubs to join and i just wanted to try this one out so we'll see how this one works out and if i like it i might continue with it we'll see and i like that you um purchase month to month so inside this box is some gorgeous yarn beautiful colorway so i get this little card and this is the sock yarn club for november 2020 and it says what's inside the box so here i have the designer for the pattern is her name is donna davis and it is for a fair isle knit beret which i probably won't make um, i will use this yarn for something else and in here is 100 grams of the colorway madres 415 yards and then a 20 gram mini which is 92 yards and the colorway on this one is glow so i will open this up so you guys can see what the colorway looks like but it is a 75 percent superwash merino and 25 percent nylon base sock yarn and what i did with this club is i added the extra skein just for ten dollars more I think it was ten dollars because my total ended up being before taxes was thirty five dollars for this and i think it was worth it i like it a lot and let me open up one so you guys can see what it looks like so i really like this um muted yellow color and again it's called glow it's really pretty and i'm not sure what i'm gonna make with this yet probably a shawl if i can find a good knitted shawl pattern i will probably knit a shawl with this so there is my 20 gram mini super cute and here is the gorgeous yarn look at all the colors in there Ooh, i like that so let me open this up so you guys can see and i like the option of adding the second skein um, just so that you can make a bigger project so that is that was really cool and let me see all right i don't want to get this all tangled so here is all the different colors in the yarn so we have this like royal blue color with some white and then it goes to like um what do you call that maybe a like a light teal and speckles of like yellow green then it goes into this like purplish pink or mauve color to a darker purple and then like a royal blue deep purple the gold in there a splash of orange this is really pretty yarn i like it i like it a lot and that's what it looks like the second skein looks a little different but i'm not going to unwind that one because this one has a little bit of like a bright orange in there like some hunter green i don't know i think this yarn is really pretty if i'm gonna make like a shawl with it i'll probably knit it up um alternating the skeins so that way it doesn't uh, the colors won't pull so that is my the yarn that i received in my club and then i will hang this up later and then the other extras i received is a pom-pom probably for the beret that i have to knit up and again, I might not knit up that beret. I will look at the pattern to see um, how hard or how difficult or easy it is. But there's a little faux fur pom-pom. 
And then I got a couple little extras, which is in this little bag, and I'll open that up. And in here, it should it says I have a leaf stitch marker and pumpkin spice tea. But I believe she must have ran out of pumpkin spice tea because I have this cranberry pomegranate tea. Which I'm not a big tea drinker. I drink tea only when I'm not feeling well, like if I'm if I have a cold or something. But I will probably try that. And then I received this cute little leaf stitch marker. So I really enjoyed this uh, subscription box, and I will probably do it again because I I love the yarn, gorgeous colors in here, and I can't wait to knit something with this. So this is probably going to stay. Um, in the box, in its box for a while until I find the perfect project for this beautiful yarn. So that is my November Sock Yarn Club from Southern Skeins, and I'm really happy with it. I'm happy. I was surprised that it actually came with a 20 gram mini because that's a lot of yardage, and I only paid $35 for it, so very excited about that, and that's that. I might do that again. We'll see. So that was my Southern Skeins. And then now I, what did I do? I placed an order on Yarnspiration because they had this Black Friday sale going. Um, their mystery bags are on sale. I'm not sure if it's on sale right now still, but I placed this order yesterday. The mystery bags were $4.79, I believe. And then if you ordered 10 or more items, it was an extra 10% off. So I ordered 10 bags of mystery yarn from Yarnspiration. So we'll see how long that takes to get here. And I believe that's it for anything that I have purchased recently. I'm trying not to spend so much um, on yarn, but it's really difficult because a lot of these companies have really good sales. And sometimes you just can't say no to them. But... I'm going to try not to buy yarn for a little while. Okay, so moving on to the next thing is I have lots of finished objects. It is insane how much I got done this week. Um, I was off Thursday. Obviously, it was Thanksgiving. Um, so in between cooking, I crocheted lots of things. And then on Friday, I actually volunteered to go to work, but I only stayed there four hours and then came home. So I had the rest of the evening to do work on things. And then Saturday, I decorated the house for Christmas. So that's all done. And then today I went shopping and then I had some time to crochet and knit. So I did that for a little while. So let's talk about all my finished objects. So the first finished object I have is a Ross hat. This is using uh, Premier Serenity Chunky. I cannot remember the colorway and I don't know what I did with the ball band, but it turned out great. So I will put it on and model it for you guys. Um, I really like this yarn. It just knits up beautifully. And then after you wash it, it's like really super soft. And I, I like this yarn a lot. So there is my one finished object and then the second finished object i have is that scarf that i showed you guys that i was working on uh, for my daughter madison it is in tunisian crochet so there's the one side and there's the other and then i finally finished the pockets and added it on it's a little bit shorter which she is fine for her um but she likes it a lot and then it has the pockets so what i did was i used two different colorways in the yarn it's a yarn b yarn soft and sleek and this is a medium four weight yarn so i use this purple colorway and then i don't know what i did with the ball band for the other one but it's this colorway i think it's called very berry or something but i did it like a two-tone scarf where half of it was the variegated yarn and then the other half is the solid color and then on the pockets I did the variegated yarn on the solid side of the scarf and then the solid pocket on the variegated side. So as you can see, the pockets are getting droopy already because she's been wearing the scarf like nonstop. So I had to grab this from her to show you guys the finished object. So I was gonna put tassels on the corners on the bottom, but she didn't want tassels. So I'm just gonna leave it like it is. And I thought this turned out great. Next time I make another scarf like this, I will definitely make it a little bit longer. Um, she's short, so this is fine for her. 
but if she as she gets older and she gets taller and she wants a new one I can definitely make her a new one just make the scarf a little bit longer so that is finished object number two I really like this project it took a little bit longer to make just because Tunisian crochet reminds me a lot of knitting it takes a bit a little bit longer to do Tunisian crochet um, just like knitting so that is my second finished object and then I decided to make her a matching hat so the hat that I made is of my own design and I was just crocheting away and I just came up with this design for this hat um, this is using the alpine stitch and then um, this is the first hat I made which fits her fine the top is a little bit big so but it does match her scarf so I decided to work with this pattern um, just to perfect it and make it a little bit better so I came up with this hat it is the same pattern I just tweaked the number of stitches and it made it it fit her head a lot better the yarn I used for this one the body of the hat is this gray yarn which is yarn B soft and sleek baby and this is in the color gray marbled and I really like this yarn a lot it is really nice and soft and it's thick and I, I love it for this design and then the brim of the hat is the yarn be soft and sleek in the colorway purple and like I said this one turned out much better for our, the first hat I did like a one by one rib for the brim of the hat and for the second one I did a two by one ribbing which I like that one so much better so I think I'm going to keep the two by one ribbing and then um, this hat turned out great like I said but it was pretty it was a little bit too big so this one fits her head much better and this is the child size version so what I'm gonna do is I am going to write up a pattern I've already started it and I will work on a video tutorial for this so again this is the child size beanie and I will be working on an adult size one maybe a slouchy hat version and then also a messy bun hat version of this pattern so that's something that I will be working on so I after I wrote up the pattern I decided to follow my pattern and work up another hat and it turned out perfect the yarn I used for this hat is the black yarn is premier everyday anti pilling and this is in the colorway charcoal heather and then the brim of the hat is the lion brand basic stitch anti pilling in the colorway eggplant so i love the two colors together and i love this heather color this charcoal heather color um, it turned out really great and these two hats are perfect like i said i will be working on writing up a pattern for that and then working on a video tutorial and then I will be working on the adult version of this hat so I can't wait to get that done so those are my finished my finished hats and scarf and then the other objects that I have that are finished are these two little guys so these are little Among Us characters so if you guys do not know what Among Us is it is a game that you download on your phone and these little guys are I'm guessing they're astronauts because they have little air packs and then they're also wearing their masks so they can breathe oxygen and then they have little hats on their head these are little hats this one's a little sprout and then this one my daughter wanted um mouse ears so i crocheted some mouse ears to put on their little head so the game is basically these are called crewmates they're on this shuttle or a ship and they're all running around doing different jobs and among the crewmates there is one imposter so the imposter's job is to kill the crewmates and to sabotage their tasks that they have to do so sage she always wants to be imposter so she wanted a little knife so i crocheted a little knife for her character and it's kind of awkward on there because they don't have arms so i kind of just had to attach it to the side but she loves these little guys and they're having so much fun with them and i was going to actually design my own among us characters and i thought it was just too much work so i decided to follow a tutorial for these so i will link that video tutorial down below in case you guys are interested in making one of your own little among us characters so i will make more they have 
I think like eight or to ten different color characters. I made the pink one, the white one. They have like a blue color, a light blue, a lime green, a dark green, a black, which is hard to crochet with black yarn. They have a brown one and then a yellow one, I believe, and an orange one. So I will be making all those for them. And yeah, that should be fun. It didn't take long to make these at all. Maybe about an hour and a half for one little guy. This one I used uh, Paint Box Cotton DK. And then this one I used, what did I use for this one? Knit Picks Bravo Worsted, I believe. Because this one came out a little bit bigger. So this was Bravo Worsted. So they turned out great and I love them. And I will be making more. So that is it for my finished objects. For my works in progress, I am still working on the Knitted Drifter Shawl. Which should be done by the next time I film. I have... I believe like 40 more rows to go. Um, as soon as I upload this video, I will be working on that. And then I am still working on the knitted Karen Anniversary Cakes blanket. So I am making this giant blanket using two Karen Anniversary Cakes. And I think I'm halfway done, I think. But I had to roll the ball, roll the skein of yarn into a ball because it was just getting messy. It was really floppy and the yarn was getting tangled. So I decided to just roll the skein of yarn into a ball and one ball had a giant knot in it so I had to cut some yarn but um it's fine it works out fine and now I have three little balls of yarn that I have left to knit so I can't wait to get that finished so I can show you guys so that is all I have for you guys today I forgot one more thing. I also signed up for the Annie's uh, Hook and Needle Club. I don't know if it's for this the month of November or the month of December. I'm pretty sure it's for the month of December, but they had a really good sale going. I think it was 75% off the kit. So I decided to place that order. I think it was $4.99 and then you had to pay for the shipping. Uh, which my total ended up being less than $12. So I decided to sign up for the one month and we'll see what comes in it. If I like it, I will, I might continue it. If I don't like it, I might not continue it. We'll see what happens. But I do like the Southern Skeins. I'm not sure if I will continue that or not. We'll see. And then my Mary Maxim Knit Club, I still have that going. Um, I have been disappointed lately with the Mary Maxim Knit Club. So we will see if I will continue that one or not but we'll see we'll see what happens next month but for now that is all I have for you guys and I just need these yarn companies to quit having sales <laughs> because I'm just gonna keep ordering some yarn so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me today uh, it was fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So thank you again. So have a great day. And by the way, Michelle, you won that giveaway from my last video. So if you're watching this, I need you to contact me and send me your mailing address. So that way I can send you that box of yarn. And again, congratulations. Um, if not, I will go ahead and email you because I think I do have your email address. So thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. So stay safe, stay sane, and keep on crafting. Bye.